Tell me about your deepest fear. I'm afraid that my mom will die. I'm afraid that my friends will die. I'm afraid that I will lose my hands so I can no longer play guitar. I'm afraid that my hearing problems will escalate and to a point when I can't perform live anymore. If you hadn't been an artist, what would you be doing today? Um, I'm very interested in maps, so I would love to produce maps. I would like to make t-shirts with maps on them. I could probably write books. Maybe I would develop the patience to write books since I wasn't able to make music. Uh, could you tell me something about a typical day in your everyday life? I wake up, have a shower, make porridge for breakfast, talk to the cat. I just have one cat. Pigro. It means lazy in Italian. Bicycle to the beach and jump in and then come back again so that when I come back to the house then I can start working. Either to make email or something, but it's important to come back to the house. Yeah, and people go to work. So when they arrive to work, then the work starts. I have to go out of the house and come back to have this feeling. If you had to invent something, like a really surrealistic invention, what would it be? If I had to invent something, uh, yes, I would invent um, something that helps you to sleep in the car. Something that holds your head fixed, something that you, you, are, you are fixing something in the roof and this holds your head so that you can sleep in your... So that you don't fall down like this or fall down like that or fall down... So that so you fall asleep but your head is held up by something which is attached to the roof. So that you can just sleep on the train or in a, in a car. This is an important invention. Uh, could you name two artists or two songs that have marked you? in your life? Well, when I was 11, I had saved up money to buy the cassette with AHA, the Norwegian band AHA. So we went to the petrol station to buy the cassette, me and my mom. And when we were there, my mom also bought the cassette. She said, okay, then I also want to buy a cassette. So she bought Leonard Cohen. And then the deal was that we would listen in the living room, back and forth, first AHA tape, and then the Leonard Cohen tape. I thought the Leonard Cohen tape was very boring, very boring. But I guess later in life, I must say that my music is pretty much a mix of AHA and Leonard Cohen. And uh, now we're going in a totally different direction. What's your opinion about a koala beer? A koala beer? I would, I mean, I would love to have one. My, my cat, I'm a little bit bored of my cat. Maybe I would like to have both the koala beer and the cat. But it's hard for me to have an opinion about koala beers because I have never seen one. So it remains a dream creature. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? In exactly 10 years, I will be at another Belgium festival. It won't be this one, it'll be another one. The competing festival. And I will be there in a bigger tour bus. And I will complain, I will complain more and my tour manager will be very frustrated. <laughs> Tell me about the most awkward moment that happened to you. The, the, the most awkward moment um, of the last five days. I was in downtown Liège and I wanted to pee and the toilet, the public toilet was not functioning. So I walked behind the bush in the park to, uh, to pee. There was a man sitting on the bench like 20 meters away from, from me, but he, he, he couldn't see me as I hid behind the bush. And I was halfway finished with peeing. The man came into the bushes. He was around 50 years old and balding. I escaped. <laughs> What would be the last action you do if you had to die tomorrow? I would call the girl I like and sing her the song that I wrote about her. Oh.